I'm Rich Crampanis. Thanks so much for logging on to ShoreSportsZone.com. Over the last three days, we have brought you wall-to-wall -wall high school football highlights here at Jackson Memorial High School, our 17th game in week four, and it may be the best of the bunch. Two 3-0 teams going head-to-head, -head, a packed house on hand as Brick Township tangled with Jackson Memorial. Well, the first candidate is in for the game of the year in the Shore Conference. Ray Fataruso and Brick found themselves down 7-3 after one, and Jackson Memorial looking to add to the lead. Vincent Lee, good-looking run here. The Jaguars are on the move and threatening. Joe DeMeo is going to complete the pass here, but here comes the Brick Township defense. Big stick. They fall on the football. And it's time for Carmen Sclafani to go to work. My, oh my, the official scouting report is in. Dual threat, Carmen sclafani has got wheels. There he goes. 86 yards on the touchdown run. Sclafani puts Brick Township in front, 10-7. But Jackson Memorial goes to their bag of tricks. Look at the double reverse. That's Kyle Johnson, the wide receiver, to Aaron Corrette with 29.4 seconds to go, 14-10. Jackson Memorial has the lead at the half. Third quarter now. DeMeo on the move to Johnson. This is a 41-yard gainer all the way down to the 18-yard line. Jackson Memorial took six minutes and 55 seconds to start the second half. They would turn it into three points. Jarrett Calhoun threw the uprights from 22 yards. It's 17-10 Jackson Memorial by seven. Big series here for Brick. They're down a touchdown. Third and seven. Sclafani to Jasir Taylor. What a tough catch in traffic. You know, they set up this drive with run, 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 run. Then back-to-back -back passes. It's the Lithuanian Rob Gronkowski. Simon Bingelis. Perdamian Dragona. What a catch. What a finish. We are tied up at 17 apiece. But on the ensuing kickoff, the momentum would swing back to Jackson Memorial. Vincent Lee. Wow. This is a packed house, high-pressure game, and these kids are playing at such a high level. The kickoff return to the 26th, start of the fourth quarter. Lee from two yards out. He's in the zone, 24-17. The Jackson Memorial faithful are loving it. But Brick has an answer on the ensuing kickoff. A big return of their own. Look at Tommy Leach. He takes it all the way down to the 16-yard line. But the Jackson Memorial D on fourth and three comes up huge. Ray Fataruso cannot get the first down. No points after that great return. It looked bleak for Brick, but the defense would give the offense another chance. Jaquez Johnson, the INT. Just like that, Brick Township is back in business. Fourth and goal from the six. Carmen Sclafani, look at this gutsy throw to Jaquez Johnson. We're tied up at 24. What a big time play. Carmen Sclafani, break it down for us. To be honest, that last play was all Jaquez. We ran a comeback. The comeback was covered. He was told to drag across. And I threw it up, and he can't. You can always throw it up to Jock. We've got free football in Jackson. Brick Township gets it first. Fataruso, look at this hard-nosed run right here. Moving the chains, and it would set the stage for the go-ahead score. Sclafani calls his own number. His second rushing touchdown of the game, 30-24. to Brick Township misses the extra point. So Jackson Memorial can win it with a touchdown and a PAT. It's fourth and short. And here comes the Brick Township defense to deliver the biggest play of the game. DeMeo, stop short. We want to slow this down again because it's so important on such a critical play to give the proper recognition to the Brick Township defense. That's 52, Chris Kimbiz. He gets his hands on DeMeo, and he gets a little help from James Giuliano. Those two guys are able to keep Joe DeMeo from getting the first down, and the celebration continues all weekend long at Brick Township High School because the Green Dragons come from behind and pull off a 30-24 to overtime win over Jackson Memorial. What can you say about both of these football teams? This is what high school football is all about. This is why Shore Sports Zone loves bringing you the action each and every week. After the game, this experienced Brick Township squad appreciating a big, big victory 
knowing they overcame adversity to do it. And we knew Jackson's a great football team, and you know we're both Smash Mouth teams. And you know, being down like that, we knew that we just had to keep fighting. And you know, you don't fight and you don't stop fighting until the game's totally over. And you know, we just all stuck together and did what we were supposed to do. And you know, we fought the adversity and we finally beat it. We, we stayed calm. You know, we've been in the situation last year. We've been in a lot of big games, like the state championship last year. We stayed calm, battled through adversity. That's all our coaches say: stay calm, keep your heads up. We just won the game. I think that says something about our defense. We always we want to be dominant. And I think we're dominant down the stretch. Didn't get nothing in the fourth quarter. Nothing. I mean, you grew up not only just dreaming about playing in a game that decides a South like this, but a game like that at, at overtime. I mean, you never picture that, but that's the stuff you you wanna and you wanna you wanna you wanna win. I mean, that's what build that's what shows what a great team we are. Let's stay in A South Saturday afternoon in Lacey. The Lions looking for their first win of the season, taking on Tom's River South. Well, Lacey controlled this game until midway through the third quarter. Pat Davis with his third field goal of the game. This is a 40-yarder. Nice boot. It's 9-0. Lacey in front. But then that always dangerous time year Barry gets going. Barry with a 43-yard run. It would set the stage for the Hitton Indians' first touchdown of the game. They go to Khalil Green. The seven-yard run is now a 9-7 game with 5.32 to go. Later in the third, well, Timeir Berry has been a human highlight reel in 2014. This right here is not only worthy of top play of the week, it may be the touchdown run of the year. Did you just see that? Oh my gosh, we gotta slow this down. Time here, Barry, a little spinorama. Wow, a 58 yard touchdown run. It's 14 13, Indians by one late in the third. But Lacey comes back. Connor Davies, Deshaun Kahaling, a one yard touchdown pass. It's 15 14, Lacey by one in the fourth. But Time here, Barry, is a handful. Boy, how do you stop this guy? 24-yard touchdown run. He takes the plunge into the zone. 20-15, to 15, Tom's River South is going to go for two. They turn it to Khalil Green. He gets the job done. It's a seven-point lead for the Indians with 6.42 to go. Lacey gets one last shot to try and force overtime. Connor Davies into the end zone. Who else? Tymeer Berry knocks it down to preserve the victory. Tom's River South comes from behind for a 22 to 15 win over Lacey. I know this Lacey team doesn't have a win yet, but as you saw in those highlights, first of all, they play an awfully tough schedule and they've been competitive in many of their games. As for Tom's River South, time year Barry, sensational performance, some great highlights on Saturday afternoon in Lacey. Mud Bowl in Keyport, modern day paying a visit to the Red Raiders. It rained throughout much of the first half and early on, the keyboard defense was looking pretty good. Travis Alvarez stuffing the run right here. We're scoreless at the end of one quarter. But modern day has a lot of weapons on offense. None bigger than the trigger man, Christian Palmer. Wow, this is a fantastic run. We have seen a lot of Christian Palmer highlights on ShoreSportsZone.com. 51 yards. It's 6-0 Seraphs. 928 to go in the second on the ensuing kickoff. Good job here by Teddy Smith. He feels the short kick, and Teddy Smith keeps those legs churning all the way down to the 39-yard line. That was a great special teams play. But the drive would stall, and then Palmer going to the air. Zach Bragg, nice juke move right there. He gets into the end zone. They tack on a two-point conversion to make it 14-0. Now, Keyboard trying to go to the air. Down by two scores. Des Underwood is picked off by Vincenzo Mezzacapa. And Mezzacapa comes up with a big play at the half. It's 14-0. Third quarter. The sun comes out and Modern Day puts this game away. Look at Palmer. Another touchdown run. This one covers 15 yards to make it 22-0. And then Palmer to Tyson White. He's in the open field. Forget about it. Boy, Modern Day has been a fun team to watch in 2014. 36 to nothing is your final. Eddie Lewis had an 86-yard touchdown catch from Palmer to close out the scoring. So Christian Palmer, two touchdown runs, three touchdown passes, 
modern day keeps on rolling. Steve Schrappa's team is clicking right now on all cylinders. The Seraphs win 36 to nothing at Keyport. In Keensburg, a non-conference matchup as the Titans play host to South River. And it's the visitors getting on the board first in the first half. Nicholas Lapore, the swing pass out to Kalil Everett. And Everett gets in the open field, breaks that tackle 64 yards. South River tacks on a two-point conversion. It's 8-0. But the Keensburg defense would do some good things the rest of the first half. South River looking for some more, but the INT by Tyrell Wilson. He hesitates there for a second, but wisely gets out of bounds outside the 10-yard line. And then more Keensburg D. It's Wilson again. This time he falls on the loose football. So a pair of turnovers from Tyrell Wilson at the half. It's an 8-0 game. Third quarter, Mario Nigro puts South River in front 16 to nothing, but then Kingsburg begins the rally. Terry with the pitch to Joey Rodriguez. Look at the speed. And Rodriguez has got Kingsburg on the board, a 63-yard touchdown. They tack on a two-point conversion. It's 16 to eight. And then Chris Damien leans on his defense once again. Good stop here. It's Rodriguez and Dylan Alt. The drive stalls for South River, and here comes Keensburg. Terry sells it well, keeps it himself. 16 yards, it's 16-14. The Titans need to go for two to draw even. Terry rolling right. He takes care of it. With just over four minutes to go, it's a 16-16 game. We go to OT tied at 16. Keensburg got it first, couldn't get anything going. And then it's Kalil Everett, 15 yards for the win. Great football game and a heartbreaking loss for the Kingsburg Titans. 22 to 16 is your final, but as you saw in those highlights, certainly some positive, optimistic things when it comes to Kingsburg football. Rodriguez, Tyrell Wilson, and Ian Terry all stepping up on the big stage. The Titans fall to one and three, losing 22 to 16 in overtime to South River. I want to thank all the fans across Monmouth and Ocean County for supporting ShoreSportsZone.com. We're in our first year and having so much fun bringing you high school sports action. Don't forget, during the week, we'll bring you soccer, field hockey, and all the rest of the fall sports. And then right back here Friday and Saturday for another round of highlights in high school football. We now have an app. Download the Shore Sports Zone app on iTunes or Google Play. Just search Shore Sports Zone, and you've got high school sports right at your fingertips. For all the great folks behind the scenes, I'm Rich Crampanis. Don't forget to log on Sunday for the Monmouth Building Center Game Balls. Boy, we have got some great nominees for top play and top performer. We'll see you with some more high school action right here on ShoreSportsZone.com.